So Northeastern University in Boston is one of the top colleges in America for international students. But one of the biggest issues students face is the housing, where to stay, the cost, getting cheated. So we're gonna help you guys figure out the best housing options there at Northeastern University. Welcome to Chai and Coaching, my friends. I'm Rob. We love helping people be more successful in their international journeys, their cross-cultural journeys, especially international students. And in this video, we're gonna cover all the important factors you guys need to choose the right housing option for you guys at NEU Boston. Be sure to check out the other video we've made, a student review about NEU for all the short fit listing factors you guys need to see if this is the best college for you. We've got current students right now, they're gonna break down the best on and off campus housing options for you guys, costs, amenities, locations, all that good stuff, places that they've actually stayed and can give real hand experience. This is gonna help you guys so much. All right, Mohit, go ahead and introduce yourself, buddy. Thank you. Hi, Rob. Um, so my name is Mohit. Uh, I'm from a city called Asnapur, the Orange City. So I basically did my undergrad in mechanical engineering. Post that, I figured out that my interest was purely in supply chain and manufacturing. So I decided to do industrial engineering and what best a university than Northeastern University. I also work as a proctor um, on campus to the Northeastern University. And so I can share some details about the on-campus housing. Northeastern has straight up dorms uh, uh, for the you, for the students. If you are a freshman or a sophomore, it's compulsory for you to stay in the dorm. Um, except if you are a senior student or just like us uh, grad students you have the option uh, to choose to uh, live off campus which is comparatively cheaper uh, i'll say that let's just talk about the on campus cost i'll say it's somewhere around 1300 to 1500 dollars per month which varies on the uh, hall to hall um, some are luxurious lavish some are like okay okay because those are uh, leased by northeastern university if we talk about the location uh, it's absolutely close to the university. I mean, it's in the university, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, connectivity of the Northeast University is right in the the main area of Boston. So, you know, you don't have to worry about the connectivity. Northeastern has two stations right next to it. The one is actually named Northeastern Station and the other one is Ruggles. So it's absolutely connected to the city. Uh, I mean, it's in the city. We'll talk about size. So. Northeastern, uh, du during this COVID, Northeastern has planned to have two people in our room. So it's like a dorm with two people. And uh, if you talk about facilities in the dorm, um, well, Northeastern has a lot of options, all the way from meal plan um, to uh, gymming, um, to sports, everything. We have, the Northeastern has its own gym called as Marino. Uh, it's right across the dorms. Uh, I don't know, like, like one minute walk <laughs> i don't know that's that's the most uh you know closest you can get to we have our own athletic teams um exclusive gym um also there's like plenty and plenty of um, groceries uh stores all around the campus so you don't have to worry about anything it's all connected all nearby um it's easy you just have to all you have to do is just walk down your dorm and you and everything's right on the footsteps that's all you don't have to worry about any management issues because you have an issue you just contact the proctor or you just call the RA and that's all the, the issue is immediately resolved northeastern is very happy about it they do care of the students who are living in the um, dorms so living on campus is no issue it's like it's for pros would be that you live on campus you get to you know stay with your uh, or I wouldn't say stay because Northeastern do not allow more than two people in the room because of COVID. But you are close by to your friends. Um, you can anytime just walk down your dorm and meet everyone. Lots and lot of groceries, gym, stores and whatnot. And like everything, it's connected. There's train station if you want to go away from Boston just to, you know, just enjoy your life. Con would only be the cost. It's expensive. Uh, I mean, $1,500 a month. Plus, over that you have to pay for, I mean, let's, uh, this is away from housing, but you have to pay for your meal plan, which is also expensive. Uh, if you want to make your own food, you're not allowed in your dorm. You just you just go and sleep, that's all. This is a small place. You do, you do not have kitchen. Um, so if you want to cook your own food, you cannot. Uh, that's a con in on-campus housing. But apart from that, it's a lovely place to live. Awesome, Mohit. Great stuff. Um, yeah, besides the cost, it seems like a great option. Achal, is there anything that you want to add for the on-campus? 
Uh, yeah. Achal, go ahead and introduce yourself, buddy. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Achal Datre. I'm from the central region of India, uh, which is called as Indore. Uh, it's in it's located in Madhya Pradesh. I did my undergrad in uh, information technology from Swami Vivekanand College of Engineering in Indore itself. Then I worked for three years in uh, IT solutions provider company. Northeastern University has a very good program uh, in College of Professional Studies as Master of Science in Project Management. And uh, my concentration is agile. So the amenities what we were talking about in the room. So each room comes with a, you know, a bed frame, a twin Excel mattress, a desk, a desk chair and a dresser. Every single room is unique. So there is no particular measurement of the room. But yeah, uh, those are very spacious. And as uh, due to COVID, only two people are allowed in the in one room. All Northeastern housing is smoke free as there is no kitchen as well. In every hall, like before COVID, there was 100 to 700 people in one, one single building. All bath facilities are like single gender. So you have a common uh, common restroom facility in, in the hall itself. And yeah, all first year students are required to have a meal plan that is mandatory for all uh, the undergrad students. If you talk about the graduate students, like they have the access to on-campus housing, but that is limited for uh, undergrad students. So that's why the best option for a graduate student I would suggest is the off-campus housing. Talking about the off-campus, I would like to talk about uh, Mission Main Apartments, which is where I live right now. The apartments are very, very, very spacious and very big. And uh, it's very near to university. If I talk about my apartment, it's just 0.3 miles from the university. So it's very good to, you know, walk down any time whenever you want for the classes or for the on-campus job. Yeah, so that is a very good option. The management of uh, Mission Main is very much flexible. So if, if you want to have a party, anytime you can have, but again, you cannot create a lot of noises, but yeah, you, you are definitely allowed to do parties in your apartment. And especially I would like to mention about the, the space, what they have uh, given to the students for living. Like right now I live in a three BHK apartment and six people are allowed to live in that apartment. And it's very, it's very cheaper than the university uh, costings. It's, it's better in the space as well. So they have a kitchen. You can, you can cook your food anytime when you want. Uh, they have a big living room. So yeah, it's quite spacious. Uh, right now, the mission main apartment is uh, charging us three thousand eight hundred dollars. Yeah, and due to COVID, like they have given us a special offer that you are allowed to get a two months free. So we just have to pay the first month rent and the last month rent and the security deposit. And then we have a two months free. So I think in COVID situation, getting a two months free for any apartment, it's it's very much helpful. Any other pros or cons or tips that are helpful to know about Mission Maine? The pros are obviously it's very near. So definitely the distance is an advantage for every Northeastern students, like for going on campus classes or for going to on campus jobs, you know, just walk walk down the road anytime when you want. Yeah, there are no cons I would suggest because it's it's very safe locality. Fun fact though, Achal and I are roommates. <laughs> <laughs> so we both live in Mission Main Apartments. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely want to add the pros. The management clearly told us that we can have two people in one bedroom. So for that, our, our apartment is three bedroom apartment. So we can have six people, although we're living five, which brings down the rent uh, tremendously low. Uh, let's say around, we are paying around 900 to 950 per person, which is again, um, comparatively to the on-campus housing, which is around 1500, that's steeper. And one more thing that I would I would like to add about uh, the Mission Main apartment is that our room space is comparatively larger than the dorms. Our try question for this video is, do you guys prefer on-campus or off-campus housing? For all of you guys watching, let us know in the comments if you're looking more for on-campus or off-campus housing. Let us know, you're getting to hear kind of both options this video. And we're gonna continue more with some of the good off-campus housing options. So Ishani, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi everyone, my name is Ishani Bose. I am from the city of Joy, Kolkata, but I'm also settled in Madras, Chennai. And I did my um, undergrad in VIT Valor, followed by um, three years of corporate experience in Bangalore. Post that, I moved to Boston. And as we all know, we look for housing, which is cheap. And, um, you know, we want to make sure that everything is cost effective, be it travel, be it living or like, expenses in terms of utilities and food. So my first option for the first year here was Boylston. So I will begin by speaking about Boylston apartments, which they say that they're about 100 years old, the buildings. 
So they're pretty old, but then they're very cheap as well. In my first year, I think my rent was about six forty dollars, and three of us lived in the apartment there. So the total rent of the apartment was two thousand one hundred, which is comparatively cheaper as compared to the other places around Boston. Um, apart from that, the size was really good. It was good for three of us, but I wouldn't suggest the same space for four. I would suggest the space for just three people, very close to university, right opposite Fenway Park. So whenever there were matches that were going on, you could hear the stadium noise, and it's it's a really good experience. Like to live there, the locality is amazing. There are lots of pubs and restaurants in and around that area. There's Target. At walking distance and Trader Joe's as well. From there, I moved into Westland Ave, which is again five minutes away from university. The reason why I moved into this place was because I wanted a room to myself, and again, to make sure that even a room to myself is cheap, I moved in here. So my room here is for eight hundred dollars. And all of us, there are three of us living here. It's a three-room apartment, which comes for twenty-seven hundred, excluding utilities. So on top of this, utility bill is usually just Wi-Fi and our regular groceries. We don't have any um, costs for commute because we live very close to college. Heat is included. Heat and hot water both. In both locations, Boston as well as Westland Ave, it's all included, and we don't have to worry about that. Management is really prompt. Like for instance, I sent out a mail this morning, and they're here right now, so to fix the heater. They're very prompt here as well as in Boston. Um, now, in terms of cons, the houses are really old. Like the ones here in Westland as well as Boylston, so it's a different experience. You have like squeaky wooden floors, and they're not the new age apartments, and they're not very happening. But it's good enough for students who want their own space or just want to live in a space which is um, cheap yet close to university. Otherwise, we would have to go miles away to get a space which is which comes in this range. So I think in terms of that, they're all good. Um, the Whole Foods right opposite Westland Ave. Right opposite, like plenty of restaurants here as well. It's close to the Reflection Pool, the Prudential, um, Trader Joe's, and yeah, it's a fun area to live. Fantastic! That would be awesome to be living right across Fenway Park during <laughs> yeah. the baseball games. How cool is that? Yes. Um, man, you guys are in a really neat part of the city there, and and also during um, concerts, like you can literally listen to everything sitting in the room. Oh wow, that would be amazing. So I've just uh, heard the Yankees versus uh, Red Sox game. Like it's crowded. You can't step out of the building because everyone's excited. Everyone's in their uh, sporting gear and they're cheering for their own teams. Obviously, due to COVID, um, they don't have audience, mm -hmm. but they still started the matches again. So mm -hmm. you could still hear it from the stadium, but no one could enter. So I also wanted to mention that um, I'm the global student mentor at Northeastern as well, and a lot of students do reach out to me uh, regarding housing, regarding studies. So uh, Northeastern has a lot of help with respect to that as well. We have mentors, we have housing communities, everything that students can join and you know um, get to know more about these locations. We've got one more off-campus housing option to consider for you guys at NU, and that's City View. Which of you guys wants to start off talking about City View? Moving on, I can give an overview about City View Apartments, which is one of the new buildings that are there in Boston. The rent is relatively higher as compared to the other places um, that we mentioned right now. It's around three thousand three hundred for a two-bedroom apartment, which also includes a hall. But then the management is strict. That is one of the ma major cons at City View. The management is strict, and if they come around, then um, they don't uh, cater to extra people living in the in the apartment. But then um, the facilities are great. It has a gym in, in the building itself. I mean, they also ran an offer due to COVID, which was I think two months free, so which brought down the rent a pretty decent amount. So. That was great about City View, and again, City View is in the Mission Main area, so pretty close to college, 15 minutes walk. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. If Mohit and Atul want to add something, they can go ahead and mention. I mean, in in the current situation, uh, the City View apartment has also, you know, uh, given a one more month free offer, so it's like the total of three months free. Obviously, the name suggests it's a city view, so obviously you have a great view from the balcony of the buildings, and uh, it's it's a wonderful experience in the snow snow time. Whenever the snowfall is going on, it's it's a very good view. So yeah, you have a good time experience, and it's a modernized building, so you have all the amenities, and uh, you have the gym facility in the building itself. So in COVID, like going to other gyms, that would be you know too risky for the people living in city view. So 
yeah, that's a very good option. So that was great. Thank you guys so much. This has been a helpful video for you guys. Give a big like and thumbs up to say thanks to Achul and Ashani and Mohit. And you guys, thanks so much for sharing your research and experiences firsthand so people know the best places to live there at NEU for their housing. Thank you guys. Thanks, Joel. Thanks, Joel. So don't forget to subscribe to Chine Coaching. We want to help you guys succeed and thrive in your cross-cultural journeys, especially when you guys go into Boston to study at NEU. Don't miss our other video, the NEU Student Review. It's going to have some other helpful information for you guys. Be sure to also connect with us online on social media. These guys as well will have their accounts and the NEU Sanskrit organization, which helps Indian international students have a lot of fun and thrive and transition there to NEU. And yeah, hope you guys can find a great housing option. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time at Chine Coaching. Cheers.